Welcome to the Media LB Analyzer tutorial. This course will introduce you to K2L's state of the art analysis tool for Media LB. We will address engineers who need to analyze the communication on the PCB using a Media LB Analyzer. After the course, you will be able to set up and prepare the tool as well as capture and analyze data. We will focus on setting up and using the tool as such but will not go into the detail of Media LB technology itself. As a basis for this tutorial and for a more detailed introduction to Media LB technology, please have a look into the Media LB overview presentation and specification. You can download these two documents from Microchip's website, either by navigating through product, automotive to the Media LB pages, or via the search function. The first section of this tutorial introduces the Media LB Analyzer setup. Let's have a look at the individual components of such a setup. First of all, there is your device under test, which has a Media LB connection between the on PCB iNIC and the controller running your application. A specific debug header is needed to plug in the Media LB Active Pod. Please make sure that the high-speed debug header is implemented on your PCB as recommended in the Media LB specification. The header can be left unpopulated in production, but it is absolutely essential for debugging during development. A ribbon cable connects to the Media LB monitor, which connects via USB 2 to your host PC, where the actual analysis software, called Optilizer Suite, is running. Optilizer Suite software analyzes Media LB communication on your PCB. Connect all mentioned cables and components correctly in your setup before you go on with the next step. The second section guides you through the installation of Optilizer Suite software, which is needed for the analysis. First of all, we need the latest version of the software. Let's see where we can download it from K2L's website. You go to Products, Software, Optilizer Suite, and move to the Downloads tab. If you move down the page, you can download Optilizer Suite software, which is essentially the graphical user interface, and we also need to download Optilizer Components, which is a library of services used by the suite. Before you go on with the installation, make sure that you have full administrative rights on your PC. The next step is to install both packages. The order doesn't matter and you can simply confirm all of the default options. When the installation of Optilizer Suite and component software has been completed, power up the Media LB monitor and your device under test. The ready LED should blink red. In case your PC needs to install USB drivers, just confirm this request. Now the installation is finished and the tool is ready to be used.